How's it going? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm good. How's New York? Is it freezing? I'm going to be there next week. Freezing. It was snowing recently as well. Um, but yeah, you should dress warm. New York in the snow is beautiful. It is, especially Christmas. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start with the questions about you and Batman. Uh, firstly, congratulations. You did an impressive job. I was so impressed with your performance. Um, well, thank you. You're an extremely handsome guy. Oof. How long did it take to transform you into this totally unrecognizable character who is just so physically different to you? Uh, it took it took four hours. Four hours. At this, the first time we did the makeup, we did it in Los, we did a makeup test in Los Angeles, and it was literally the first time any of us were going to get a chance to put what we had spoken about and what I had seen in two dimensional image together and, and apply it and it took about probably took about six or seven hours I mean there was no stress there was no rush we didn't have to shoot it there were no scenes the film it was months before the film started and we went to a studio space here on Warner Brothers studio lot and uh, yeah it took six or seven hours and it was an extraordinary experience it was so exciting it really was I mean I was just so excited it felt like a kid in a candy store as they say and then when we started filming it was about four hours at the start, wow. and they got it down to about two hours by the end, which was cool. And I wouldn't have minded no matter how long it took because I knew what the result was. And the result was a hell of a lot of the heavy lifting uh, done <laughs> for me. I mean, yeah. I didn't have to do much, you know, I mean, I really just standing there with that silhouette and with Mike Marino's makeup, there was, you know, an incredible sense of presence without even animating what he did. Absolutely. So how did you prepare to play such a character who's just so different to yourself? Um, I mean, you're always looking for, I'm always looking for things that are, that are different from certainly how I perceive myself, but inevitably your judgment calls are always in there in the design of a character. So you're always there. Um, but it was just what was on the page. Matt Reeves, the writer, director of the film was very detailed. He was very clear as well from the, from the get go that he didn't want he didn't want any of this film to stray too far from what he perceived could be um, believed as possible reality. You know, he, he wanted everything. He, his, the quote was he wanted everything grounded. Yeah. So everything really believable and recognizable. And and um, and so I just took what was on the page. It must, been, the... it must have been so fun to play the penguin. It was. It was and you know what? I just. Honestly, just the makeup that Mike Marino did again. I mean, I keep harping on it, but I feel like I'm on the Mike Marino press tour because I just keep bringing it all back to him. But I, I can't stress enough how much of my work was done. I mean, I'm just not there. I'm so hidden, so buried beneath it all. And yes, I'm, I'm yeah. animating. I'm animating what he created, but what he created as a, as, a, as a foundation and an articulation of what Matt wrote was really extraordinary. And I felt very humbled to be, a, to be his canvas. So you're the penguin. If you could give any animal nickname to yourself, what animal would it be oh, and God. why? The sloth. <laughs> sloth. Yeah, not a very threatening name for a gangster, I realise, but I'm <laughs> a bit sleepy this morning, so I'll go with the sloth. I've done a lot of acting classes myself, so I, whenever there's an animal class, I always choose the sloth. So I love hearing that. Do you really? I do. I always do it. There's no pressure. Exactly. You say the stuff, but you don't have to be dynamic or interesting. Yeah. Or you just have to be sleepy and God knows I'm good at that. <laughs> Quite relaxing, yeah. So aside from playing the penguin, do you have any particular dream role in mind for your career? James Bond, perhaps? No, no, that ship has sailed. <laughs> there was conversation, but um, I, I see you, with James Bond. You need glasses. Um, no, I, I, I don't know, Georgina, nothing really. Thank you. Um, no, I've no, no, there's no particular part that I have thought about or obsessed over, or I've just kind of all just always played it by ear and, and, you know, maybe that's a little bit lazy or a little bit disinterested of me, but I've always just I've stayed open to what was coming down the, coming down the tracks, you know, and it's served me decently up until now. So there's nothing in particular that, I mean, I didn't look at, I, I had no idea that I'd ever be able to be one of many characters inhabiting the world of, of DC's Gotham City, you know, and, and mm. the world of Batman. And the fact that this came and came at this stage, I've been doing this job for some decades now. It's really cool and really exciting. 
Well, thank you so much, Colin. It's been such a joy to speak with you. Um, you Georgina. Have a lovely time in New York. Thanks, I will do. I'm really excited to go, actually. It's been a while. All the best to you.